A widow was left stunned after she raked in more than £11,000 at auction after finding her late husband's secret taxidermy collection. Julie Giddos, 62, found Kevin's collection of stuffed antique animals squirreled away in the attic, with it going back 162 years. She had no idea Kevin owned the collection until she cleared out the loft following his premature death from cancer aged 69. Builders alerted Julie to the large number of boxes that contained the extraordinary Victorian and Edwardian collection, Birmingham Live reports. Hansen's auctioneers have described the finds as one of the most unusual private collections that had ever gone under the hammer. This is part of Kevin Gitto's secret taxidermy collection, image, courtesy Hansen's, SWNS. Among the set found at her Worcestershire home was a lion's head with real teeth from the 1920s, a conger eel, otter, white rabbit, badger, fox, plains, zebra and hartebeest, a type of African antelope, there was also a large glass display case featuring a puppy dog, a pair of red squirrels and a green woodpecker dating back to the 1860s. The top-selling item was an Edwardian-cased full-mount fox which sold for £850 while a full-mount otter went for £520. A secret hoard of taxidermy birds and animals was found in a Worcestershire loft, image, courtesy Hansen's SWNS. A 20th-century baboon shoulder mount fetched £640 and the African lionhead mount on shield sold for £541. There was also a multitude of fish and birds including an albino blackbird, moorhens, herons, lapwing, curlew, long-eared owls, pike and perch. It turned out Kevin had been collecting the antiques for years but Julie only found out after he died in August 2021. Builders alerted Julie to the mass of boxes in the loft, image, courtesy Hansen's SWNS. Most read. Belarus invades Ukraine as second country joins Russian attack. Putin used deadly vacuum bomb during Russian strikes in Ukraine, ambassador claims. Moment Russian missile smashes into Ukrainian government building exploding in fireball. Julie, who has a daughter Esther with Kevin, discovered 12 cased animals hidden in the loft while the garage housed 57 other examples. She says she plans to donate some of the money from the auction to charity Sarcoma UK to honor Kevin, who died from that form of cancer. Charles Hansen, the owner of Hansen's, said, I am delighted Hansen's achieved a strong result for this collection, particularly as I know Julie plans to. Makia donation to charity Sarcoma UK to honor Kevin. Kevin's collection was quite extraordinary with examples dating back to the 1860s. Some people may find it a little bizarre but you have to put taxidermy into its historical context. In Edwardian and Victorian times people had a deep fascination with natural history, just as we do today. Julie discovered 12 cased animals hidden in the loft while the garage housed 57 other examples, image, courtesy Hansen's, SWNS. Kevin Giddos died in August 2021, image, courtesy Hansen's, SWNS. Don't miss. Dad dies before finding out he's won share of £7.9 million lottery jackpot prize. Mum with Britain's biggest eyebrows threatened with social services visit. Girl, 10, told to make lasting memories after devastating Specsavers eye checkup. Couple kicked out of home and ordered to pay landlord's £800 legal bill. However, they couldn't switch on the TV to watch nature programs or tune into the latest series from Sir David Attenborough. Consequently, taxidermy became popular in the 19th century, particularly among the middle and upper classes who used it for educational purposes. It was regarded as an art form. Some of the species had died naturally while others would have been trapped or shot. But you must remember that death was part of life in Victorian times. In 1850 people rarely lived much beyond 40. We're deeply aware of the sensitivity around taxidermy and took extreme care to catalog this collection carefully respecting the complex regulations surrounding the sale of animal-related items. The collection amassed more than £11,000 in auction. Image, courtesy Hansen's SWNS. Kevin's interest in it fascinated him for decades and led him to acquire one of the most unusual private collections I have ever come across. Julie previously said of her husband's collection, 
I was never allowed into the loft but, after I lost Kevin, I needed some work done in the attic. The workman said to me, did you know there are a lot of boxes up there? I found 12 pieces of taxidermy I had no idea about. I'm amazed Kevin managed to squirrel them away without me knowing. I think he felt a bit guilty about buying so many pieces so he didn't tell me. Kevin, who worked as an engineering manager for the Mirror Group, collected taxidermy for more than 30 years. But in retirement, he got a part-time job at an auction house, something he loved, according to Julie, and the perfect place to source taxidermy. These taxidermy birds were found in Kevin's secret collection, image, courtesy Hansen's SWNS. She said, when I met Kevin 32 years ago, he had a couple of pieces. Though it was never my thing I never stopped him displaying them in the house. I just limited it a bit. I never begrudged him doing it. Our 1926 bungalow has a large hall so they were mainly displayed there. We had some in the lounge, too, including a badger which I'm keeping. He's part of the family now. Kevin had him when I met him. He was very proud of his collection. That's one of the reasons why I've decided to sell it at auction. I want to pay tribute to Kevin and share something. That was really important to him. I know some people think taxidermy is a bit strange but Kevin was fascinated by it. He always loved country pursuits. I used to feel a little bit embarrassed. When people went into the hall but most people were fascinated by the collection, even the medics who came to look after Kevin when he was ill. It makes me smile now to think of Kevin smuggling those pieces into the loft. I found out his son, James, helped him lift them in. The time feels right too. Part with them now. Read more. Dolly the sheep scientists were bombarded with requests to clone dead people. Read more. Meet the taxidermist who turns dead pets into rugs and works of art.